I just got something new in, which you've already read the title, so you know what it is. So let's cut right to the chase. Gilson just sent me a park board. Ooh, a handwritten note on a piece of wood. That's sort of nifty. A bunch of stickers. A snowboard. The graphic on this thing is pretty sick. It's pretty light, it's not bad at all. And it is a twin tip, so that means it is exactly the same both sides. The interesting part comes on the bottom. The edges all the way around are raised. This is gonna give you less of a chance to catch your edge doing park tricks, uh, riding switch, doing things that you're not quite as comfortable with, as well it's gonna give you a floaty feel. If you missed my review of their all mountain board, I'm gonna link it right there. You can go check it out after this video. The difference between this and the all mountain board and the powder board that I'm reviewing still, the fly, is the bottom here doesn't have what they call the POW channel, it's flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and wax this and get ready for the mountain. and I'm gonna go bring you into the park and give this a thorough test so that I can give you an informed opinion on it. My initial impressions are really, really good. Let's go ahead and get on that gondola and get up to the park. It was one of the longest and most quiet and uncomfortable gondola rides I think I've ever been on. Finally at the park. This is Easy Street and it's sort of the beginner area park, which is all I'm really good at anyways. And I'm gonna give this a test. We'll hit a couple of boxes. We'll hit some of the smaller jumps and just sort of see how it is. For me. This board is a 144 with an edge that rides like a 150. So although it is a little short for me, it should be a blast. It should make it a lot easier to whip it around and just hit the features that I normally hit on a longer board. over at Easy Street. Now I'm gonna bring the uh, Gilson over here to I-70, which is behind me. God, I wish I was like 20 years younger because I would hit this stuff so much harder. Wait a minute. Oh my God, I'm young again. What's happened? Let's go shred this.
that wasn't me. This is my buddy Jonathan Buckhouse. He has his own channel. He is a snowboarding YouTuber, and I will link his channel in the description below. Subscribe. As you can tell, he is much, much better in the park than I am. So I thought, let's bring this board to somebody who really knows what they're doing and get their opinion, or at least their initial opinion before they have a lot of time with it. So what'd you think so far? It slides super well on the rails. Once you get on it, prime aggressiveness i would say it's it's on the lower spectrum of being an aggressive snowboard on the jump i did a front 360 and i land when i landed i tried to get into a carve to stop my rotation and head into that other jump and i couldn't lock in the edge once again because it was lifted and i ended up having to revert and then having to do another switch trick i noticed a difference with the board with that not saying it's a bad thing or anything like that i just not used to it i've only ridden the board two runs though so let's keep uh let's keep doing runs and we'll really figure it out I noticed when riding this board as well as the all mountain board I noticed that it really took more than a day for me to get used to the edge like it is a different feeling it's very floaty it's loose like Jonathan was saying you do have to sort of get used to how much you have to lean to be aggressive on it or, or how aggressive you need to be to make it actually catch the way you want but once you adjust to it it's actually a lot of fun I think it has advantages that are specific to this board so like when I spun on that wall Usually with a regular snowboard, you'll actually kind of feel your edges scraping or kind of whatever. But because the edges are lifted, spinning on features, like literally on the feature, feels really smooth and buttery. This run, I'm gonna try some tricks where I get on the rail and I'm gonna rotate on the rail or the box and really feel how like the edge is not there grabbing the feature, which is something that happens on a regular snowboard. So see if that's a different plus. Cause then you could be like, you know what, today I really wanna try this trick on this wall. I know my Gilson snowboard will spin it super nice. the swivels I was spinning on the boxes and I think for a Gilson Park snowboard that is by far the biggest perk is the ability to rotate on the feature without fear of catching your edge like if you live on the east coast and you're hiking boxes and you're doing tow ropes and stuff and you're just hitting rails this, this uh, board would probably be super sick for you I would say it's more of a rail board than a jump board I mean I didn't throw anything insane today but I could already tell that a, you want a very aggressive board when you're doing big tricks and this is not aggressive it's smooth by aggressive you want that edge when you land on those jumps to make contact as quickly as possible so you can set up for the next jump exactly <laughs> you know you, you know you have the opportunity to be goofy as <laughs> in my video <laughs> and you can cuss go ahead try it try it say a bad word Wrong. you can do with it with my channel I'm on brand all the time. I, I understand, but you're on my channel. I don't care. You do, I see you do it all the time. He's a liar. He's a straight liar. Bubbles. Group bubbles. <laughs> Whenever Sean cusses on my YouTube videos, I bubble him out. <laughs> I'm gonna bubble every other word that he's saying just so you think that he's cussing up a storm. Go ahead and say something. Oh, <laughs> shut up, you. <laughs> That's it? That's what you got? <laughs> I don't know. I know we're doing a snowboard review right now, but God, you still gotta have fun. Or what the hell are you doing? Life is fun, bro. Like, it should be. What part of snowboard review isn't fun? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my little positive message to you. Life is what you make it. If it sucks, fix it. Because only you can do it. You can't rely on somebody else. Unless you got rich parents. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it, I think they can make your life a little fun. That makes, it, that makes it a little better. I can't say it makes it perfect. I can't say it no. makes you happy, but hard, you still gotta be something nothing, in here. Nothing beats hard work. Determination, hard work, and success will come. The biggest thing is just never give up. Because as long as you don't give up, you haven't lost yet. I tried many, many times over my life to quit smoking because I started at 14 and I quit around 24. And, uh, you know, I'd always say, hey, I'm trying to quit. Yeah, I don't need one. Thank, no thanks, I'm trying to quit. Yet every time I did that, I'd start smoking again within months. Wait, you said you quit? The very last time I quit, 
I threw my pack away and said, I'm a non-smoker, I quit. I never said I was trying. I just said I quit, it was done. I quit and I never smoked again after that. Hear that kids? Do or do not, there is no try. Yeah, thank you Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> Flexibility of the board was with a couple butters. everybody watching overall I think the the Gilsons are definitely a different bit of technology they're a fun board to ride different skill levels have a little bit of different views on them I personally think they're a blast I've also been using them for about a month now his view eh, it's a little not aggressive enough for him and I totally get that that being said when I was doing the butters I wasn't afraid of catching my edge at all it says it's a super flexi board felt more on the medium side but i think it's because the boards aren't broken in yet if you ever get a new snowboard the more days you put into it the flexier the board gets if you want a board for buttering you like to do butters that board was sick on the butters that's why i was doing them super fast because i didn't think i was going to catch my edge at all <laughs> dude you look pretty that was pretty and sick. then as for carving it, it carved really good because when, when you're carving you're really leaning into those edges and so it didn't really matter with that slight lift the only place where i really 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 feel the slight lift is when I'm one footing anytime you're on a flat even if you're in the bindings on a flat area that's just slightly like this you can you really have to dig and it's hard when you go in that slow and you can feel yourself ooching down the flat yeah. and so that is probably the weakest point of the board the most fun definitely watching him go down and butter was sick we're gonna end this right here make sure you go subscribe to Jonathan's channel subscribe to my channel click the little bell icon on both of our channels so you don't miss any content if you love snowboarding snowboarding youtuber if you love things in the mountains youtuber that snowboards a little different there lots of drone content lots of stuff around Summit County Colorado we both got it handled so appreciate it and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.